tell you what we're brown to do. See if we get any, see if we get any traction. See if we get any traction. Oh, what a day. One's live, here we go, someone's on. Right, so now when I'm back at the office, so the scene was live this morning, 20 past nine. This is the day in the life of a director of business. So it's been manic, I've just got finished on my tools now. Uh, if you follow us on the Instagram, you'll see If he falls on the Instagram, you'll see. Bye, Uh, sorry, just checking a quick thing there. Quick little voice notes, what I've done a lot of. So I'm in the office now, look. I'll always put a shift in where I need to and do what I need to do. Fair play, it's much it. Oh, yeah, no, Jerry Specs still at work. That's on the Instagram account. Uh, so yeah, we're just absolute manic at the moment at this point in time. It's absolute crazy. So we've got a lot going on. Uh, but I'm in office now, I'm 25 past. I've just finished my last job. Like I said, follow on the Instagram, you'll see what I've been and done on that one. was a little bit of a nightmare, so, but it's one of them, and we do what we do, so we can't knock that, like I say. But the. Uh, sorry, I've been a bit rude here, just sending messages. Call out, we've got us a bit of room, but I'm peeing off to be fair. One of the ones I'm discuss is soldering pipes. Now we still do do a lot of soldering, but you can see there that pipe there is literally perished away. What's happened is phone's going off. Shut up. Got about a thousand messages to back. So that's why I've come back to the office tonight. I've just got a thousand things to get done. Time's very tight in this game. Look, signs off text that uh, sheet stuff. But yeah, uh, soldering pipes. Can't believe you're still at work. Respect, pal. Who's that? Who's this? No, but no respect, thank you very much. Look, I don't want to be, but when you're trying to build something, you've got to put a lot of graft in, you know. I think a lot of people come in this world, don't they? No, I can't say a lot of people come in this world. What I mean is, a lot of people see you out there with vans on the road and office and stuff, and they're like, God, you must be smashing it, killing it. But like, you're at home now watching Netflix, doing what you want to do. I'm in the office doing bits what I need to get done, you know. That, that's a different place to say. So I'll always put shift in where I can and where I need to. Now, Jessica's out tonight, she's staying out. Uh, uh, grandma's in the caravan with who is this? Sorry, I just come back to the office. Loads of emails, uh, a lot of emails as well. All positive though. So yeah, just to stay out with the kids, so I can sit home. I can come to the office. Like I say, I've been working late. I've got my job done, which reminds me, I need to wear. Uh, complete my job logic. So the job I've just been on now, what we do as a company, even though I'm in the office now with a laptop, I do not get involved with any of the back end. I only get involved with the things that I do. I'm Phil from Bruff. Phil from Bruff. Phil from Bruff. Phil from Bruff. Which Phil? Phil the electrician? Might be wrong there. But yeah, the system we use at JobLogic, so what I'm doing now, all those engineers have these on our phones, so I can scroll through what jobs I've got to do tomorrow, what I've got to do. So the back office deploy these to us engineers. Uh, obviously, I, I do the mixed roles, the, the roles vary for me, obviously from being engineers, doing what I need to do, but I'm gonna get this complete now to job just being, I've literally just left and come straight into the office just to check a few bits out. So I'm gonna click complete, and all I'll do is go through to the job, that I can go through to add notes there. This is not one of them things where I'm trying to promote and plug and say, use these because we get this. No, this is just what we use as a business. You'll have watched the video day that me and Jessica did in relation to, uh, the one we did today, sorry, in relation to how to run the back end of a business. Now, obviously, 
the office staff to me is massive now. I, I just I could pull my hair up thinking about the facts. I'm not electrician, mate. Just love watching your vlogs. Not even a plumber myself. Respect now, but Do you know what? Respect. And if you're in Bruff, drop us a direct message on Instagram if you're on it or on the YouTube. Pop in for a coffee or a chat. Maybe do a little bit of a QA. and a We're going to start doing Q&As on a Wednesday night from now on. Uh, so, might end up turning to a bit of a podcast, but I want to get people in, especially our team as well. And just discuss one-to-ones with you live followers as well. And just discuss, obviously, in relation to work, work ethics, where you want to be, where's your goals, commitments, motivation, discipline. Because I feel we live in a world nowadays where it's too easy to be not disciplined and not be motivated, do you know what I mean? So, but back to this. So, job logic coming complete on my notes and I'll just state what I've done, which is uh, traced and repaired leak under kitchen. I'm not being rude, apologies. I'm just literally filling my job ticket. So, traced and repaired leak under kitchen sink floor area. Well, that was a nightmare. So, I got a bit of footage on the Instagram, but. Bless them, they've had a leak underneath the kitchen units. It looks like new kitchen units on that pipe, which I've just showed you, which has perished over time. So that flux, like a second thingy, uh, it just give way. Sorted that out now, though. Fortunately, I had the multi-tool, so I could get the multi-tool in underneath the plume space, cut it out. Instead of being the guy that's like, I'm going to take the full thing out. We don't want to be one always help our clients and do the best we can. Might be a little bit more tedious, but we do where what we need to do. And we've got the van jumped off as well, because we're trying to get that off the road. But what I'm doing now, I'd say, just trace repair leak on the kitchen sink floor. Uh, Repipe section of cold main and green state. Now, us as engineers, we need to put as much information as we can on here because when the office come to, when the office come to do the invoicing. I'm one of my, I don't like time and energy being wasted, so I feel like if we put as much information as we can on here, literally, they can more or less, not necessarily copy, but they can wear it as I want to. So on this one, like I say, what I'm going to put, I don't know if you can see that, but traced and repaired leak on the kitchen sink floor, repipe section of coal main, and re reinstated, I'm going to put that, reinstated water to full property. Oh, okay, no, client happy. Oh, okay, no, client. But then this system, obviously, as well, so I've put all my details in there, it's back to front, but just trace repaired leak under floor, repipe section called main. How we doing, geezer? Anthony Middleton, not bad, just finished up now. Uh, been a mad day today, I was in the office at half five, and it's now half nine in the office. But this, I suppose, is the graph that I put in now. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that more pale most most mornings, and then putting a shift in when I need to. But I ain't afraid to put a shift in, do you know? We've got targets and goals we need to hit, and I'll make sure them goals are delivered. I will just graft and graft until I need to. But working smart, not working like a fool, working smart. So job logic, like I say, I've done my jobs now. I'm gonna send these back to the office. Get deliveries coming through, these mad on the phones. Uh, coming through, all looking all plenty happy. Uh, Sam should be on visit. Click in, click in. Big respect, but no big respect, mate. Massive respect, like I say, it's a, uh, a good mate of mine spoke about, I spoke to him swimming before and he, he really put on a picture. One about, uh, oh, bloody hell. Oh, no, that's fair, dude. One about breaking the mould. So when I say breaking the mould, obviously changing the way of life. So, like, obviously, I've come from a big family. There was six of us, which might be a video for another day, my background, where I've come from. Started work at 13, stuff like that. But come from a big family. Not saying I went well off, I wasn't, but obviously, uh, what do you call it? You make your own way in life. I've done my own thing, so. But yeah, breaking the molds, breaking that, breaking generational cases, should I say, and that's what I'm trying to do here. Do you know, I've got two children, a wife, a house, the business to run as well. So I'm a big believer in putting the shift in now. We will be, I will be definitely the, the one in my family that breaks that mold. So my generation, next generation, like Harley and Hennessy, my kids, they will benefit hopefully massive from the work that I'm putting now. And that's why we do it in the day. If you've got children, you'll, you'll understand that, you know, I don't go to work just to get a wage. The money doesn't really bother me. I'm passionate about the job. You'll see that how we are on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, the laugh of the team and stuff. I'm more for building a good team. I don't want to be rolling with an iron fist and be like, do this, do that, crack you with a fucking whip. 
doesn't agree with me, I don't, Joe, at the end of the day, I, I believe everyone should be tra tra fair, treat people with respect, and they'll treat with respect back, and they'll also look after it. They will do a lot more for you. If I say to you now, go fucking tie that backyard up now, you're going to be like, ah, oh, fuck it, I don't know. You do us a favour, tie that backyard, but I'll come and help you as well. It sticks with people and it works, and like I say so, but that's my way on it, you know, everyone's got their own little ways, that's how I like to do it, but yeah. But, it's how much we on visit click. Eight times should be on the system. And then materials at So what I've done there now, I've completed my job, I'm gonna sign it off. And I've put as much information on there as I can for the office. So I still may get a call, but it doesn't bother me. But like I say, I put as much information on that as I can. And the reason being that I do do that. And you guys, if uh, you always pick it up now, if you have got any questions, feel free to drop them in. Uh, obviously I'll get around to it. I'm just rambling on about this. So then what, what works for us is the office can literally do the invoicing generate the quotes, do whatever they need to do. I'm all about streamlining the business and we're trying to get people to start doing things off their own back, which we all do, and they're all doing a great job, like I say, so. So I've got, is job logic better than Tradeify? I've not used Tradeify, I've seen a lot of these big dogs like PB and that are using Tradeify, but job logic works for us. Look, it ain't cheap, it's 210 pound a month for this business that we pay, but it's a system that does our invoicing, logs everything, times on jobs, tracks things, it does things. If the client had discretion with the job where there's like, well, you engineer one on site for that long, we can say, well, there was, look, there's a job report without being horrible. They've clicked in, clicked out, we'll come to the trackers in the vans, you know. It's all about proving and uh, there's all that is living that type of world nowadays, so. Uh, you guys doing the air source heat pumping installs? No, not as of yet, but I'm looking into it, obviously, with the part of the regulations coming in 50 degree, it's something that we do need to look at imminently, so it's something that is coming up on the agenda, but... Uh, I'm pretty confident I'll be able to do it. I can work on most systems. I can't see being that hard. One thing I do want to look at with the business with the growth of Caprano Building Heating is maybe an air conditioning renewable side. But again, the way I think I want to grow the business, I don't want to take it all on like, say, I'm accrediting domestic gas, commercial gas, uh, domestic commercial oil, say with LPG, unvented, got tickets coming up my ears, which is good. But people in business and like myself need to realize I've only got one set of, heat, set, one set of these. So if we employ the right people, giving them qualifications, that's how I believe the business will grow. I can't physically do everything. I sometimes think I can, I'll admit that, and I mean now as well, but people need some sometimes, like you need to slow it down and let the people do things. And I used to be a little bit of a control freak when we did start the business, I'll admit that, like obviously, I just want things doing right, but I leave people to it now and I feel like, let them find their own feet and stuff. I'm there if they need me, but let them find their own feet, it works for me. Nath, I'd love to work for you guys. Our maintenance plumber in London, gutted Hull is such a long way away. Massive fan of Caprani, loving the videos. Respect Peter Gretton. And again, it's things like that. It, it means the world to us, like I say, Peter, you know, things like that just means that it's, it's true and it's showing it full that we are doing the best that we can, you know. And people say, I don't want to work for me. It, it's working for Team Caprani, that's how I love it. So respect Peter Gretton there. Big shout out for that one, mate. Big respects. Brendan Fisher, enjoy your videos, mate, and how you run things. It's difficult to find a work life balance. I found, and I don't know if it's worth having someone organising jobs invoicing. On that note there, what I'd say there, so we have Dale, who now operation manager, deals with data running the business, answering phone calls, dealing with clients, hiring clients, organising jobs through to finish. Then what happens, all that gets pushed to Dion. Dion deals with one of our main client uh, commercial contracts as well, so she deals with the accounts as well as that. And then Jessica does day to day with the business and fills in the gaps where needed, looking after things like insurance policies, uniform, hospitality, uh, things like that. So it does work. Now it is a cost to the business, but if you want to grow your business, you have to realise that you have to let people take them controls of you. When I was on, on my own doing it, I was wearing 20 hats. I was the, the manager, I was the accountant, I was the engineer, I was a teacher, the apprentice, I was a debt collector. And what I found in it, and the best way this works for the business, is it's about cut emotional ties with your clients. And I don't mean that in a horrible way, but you guys will all do it yourself. You'll go to a job, give someone a quote for 300 pounds to fit a part in the boiler. You'll do it in 20 minutes. Well, I'll do anyway, I'm, I'm bad for that. But you'll, you'll, you'll go look at the job, you'll do the quote, You'll speak to the client, you'll book it in, you'll do all the job, speak to the client about Comes to pay, you've got emotional affairs with them. And what I mean by that is when payment's due, things can get sticky because they might not pay straight away, even though you're expecting payment. So you become emotionally attached and then you feel kind of rude to ask for your money. 
should you feel rude? No, it's your money. So what I found is that creating this series where someone wakes up that stage and it breaks off to the next person, breaks to the next person, there's no emotional phase. So it's, it's cold, it's warm with the Caprina process, but cold also the way through. There's no emotional attachment. So when Dale's dealt with the job, it can pass to Dion. Dion can then invoice it and Jess can chase it if need be. There's none of this where it's like, oh, well, you know, it's like, yep, yeah, yeah, just letting you know, payments due. Profit's not a date word and business isn't a date word. It's about working smart and making your business work for you. And I've been going nearly seven years now. And one of the things that I realised is that in the first few years, the business wasn't working for me. But when you're trying to build a brand, and we're still building the brand and doing it now, look at these little things, boom. When you're trying to build a brand, uh, it is hard because the, the hardest thing that I suppose I struggle with is I do a lot of reading and watch a lot, of, read a lot listen to a lot of podcasts and motivational speaks and stuff. But it's speaking to people that are... Uh, not necessarily superior above, yeah, but learning how to do things and stuff because it's hard you're going into different territories again, you know, you, 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 you're breaking off from the one-man band scenario and you're moving up again. And I don't mean moving up above people. What I mean is, uh, a good friend of mine said, as numbers grow, the, the debts and everything, all not debts like all your taxes and stuff go, which it does, but I mean, like, you level up. It gets harder to speak to people in relation to more for advice. I, I'm always one to like you and I can talk, I like speaking to you guys, I like doing the Instagram, doing the YouTube. I love doing the YouTube, do you know what I mean? But it, it's it's hard to speak to people that are up there already doing it and finding it out. But I'm not afraid to base the business model like Charlie Mullins. I think he's done a great job and respect for that. So so here we go. Brendan Fisher, just another way to find if work slows down. Again, though, I had this chat with somebody tonight about that. Sorry, I'm just going to go full of comments and obviously think about to him. You say that, and without sound normal, I had this chat with someone, I think it was White's Plumber, I can't remember what it was, I spoke to him a day anyway, he, he messaged me on the Instagram, reached out, and I said, there's my number, I gave him a rank, I had a good chat with him for half hour. What I always say to people is, when they say to me, I've got no work, and I say, what are you doing to get more work? And they go, what do you mean? But I found that, when I ask them that question, they go, what do you mean? I say, well, let me put it like this to you. There's so many ways you can go out there and get work. Flyering, emailing, sending letters, Driving around going to estate agents so I could, tomorrow if I had nothing on, I would literally be going around all these estate agents and whole driving around with my folder of what we do as a business, public liability, insurance policies, uh, qualifications, like look, we deliver this surface, this is our price list, please feel free to use it, we offer a 24 7 clock seven. Duh, duh, duh. You have to be able to call there and tell yourself, that is the hard thing being a tradesman. You start off as an engineer and then when you get your own business, you're trying to turn yourself into a salesman as well as everything else. So. If you can delegate them roles, you can do it. But that's why I say to people when they say to me, I've got no one, I always say, what are you doing? What are you doing to get work? And then they go, what do you mean? I go, well, it ain't going to come to you. You need to make yourself different from everybody else. You don't, without saying, well, it's just true. This is real talk. Being like a lot of people, they'll sit and work, my phone's not me, I've got no work on, blah, blah. It's like, you need to go out there and fucking do it yourself. If you want work, you have to go out there and get it. Do you know, go show your face, make yourself known, get your brand out there, be as bold, bold as possible, fuck what the haters say, go do it, that's what I say, so. Uh, changing itch and half to a two inch pressure reducer valve for the first time the other day, going from the rest of the commercial. Respect to Anthony Middleton, so Anthony, sorry. Uh, the commercials, the commercial's easy. When I say the commercial's easy, now we do a lot of commercial, I'm, I'm very fortunate I've come from two good companies, Classical Gas and Cotton, I'll serve the time with them. Kind of hit a wall, didn't want to be doing that all my life, uh, domestic plumbing, stuff like that. I've, sorry, I've put a post on the bloody Instagram tonight, it's gone absolutely manic. I've done a reel tonight, which is good, it's a lot different and I like doing the reels. But went from domestic to commercial, come to call SR Black, did a lot of work for police buildings, NHS council, and that's when you come to know. If you can understand the basics, water flowing pipes, 15 mil, 22 mil, how boilers work, your commercial just ends up being the same. There's just higher pressures, more volumes of gas, stuff like that. So it, it, it depends how you look at things. But there, hey yo. But well done for doing that, mate. Hope it went well. Let us know. Uh, Jacob O'Sullivan, how did you get so good at your job? Jacob O'Sullivan, firstly, respect for that comment. That's a big comment, a bold statement. Uh, I'll admit I am good, but there's better people than me there. But I think confidence comes a long way with it as well. Putting yourself out of your comfort zone makes you a better engineer. Do you know, hard being the apprentice and hard being behind the engineer or hard being other people in your work if you work in a big establishment is a no-no. You will never grow at your career. You need to put yourself out there again, be bold and have a go and do it. And you need to realise that failing in this game, having a leak, ceilings collapsing, I've put my foot through ceiling stuff before. It's how we deal with it. It's how we come back from that failure. Do you know, nothing's wrong with that. It's a learning curve because I guarantee you won't do it again. I've done plenty of things before. Soldered on a three-quarter pipe, even put three-quarter three quarter compression on, blow off. 
Do you know, I've learned, you learn the hard way, but as long as you do it in the way where you learn and don't do it again, that is where, uh, you, where you can become a better person. So, Brendan Fisher, I'm a guest engineer from Bradford. Uh, if Daniel could, could, I'll come do a day with you for free and pick your brains of business. More than happy to, mate. Like I say, I am the best plumbing eating engineer, the best business owner, whatever in the world. But what I feel I'm doing, what we're doing, sorry, it isn't me. It's what we're doing as a team at Caprani, and I emphasise that. It's my team that build this brand, not me. The team, I may be up there plugging it and doing a lot of this and that, but I get the team involved. Matt, Luke, George, Jessica, Dion and Dale. We are a team unit. You want me, you want you take the full team. You want Matt, you take the full team. And that's how it should be in business, you know. We're, we're in this together. It's a long haul, we're in it together. PB, high nef, respect to me. It's always good to have everyone. One of the day ones, like Sonny, a few other ones, so respect for that. Uh, Brendan Fisher there has put, so I agree completely. My missus always moans at me treating customers like friends and being too lenient with them in regards to payment or doing jobs cheap for them. You see, thanks for your response, mate. Anytime, mate, but again, going back to it, it, look, it is hard because it can become a dark place when you're sat in your van on your own doing things and you're out on jobs fixing boils, then you get a bit of a speaking to the client, you've had a bit of a shit day and that, so you, you, you feel like giving something back, like karma, giving something back, we'll get something back, but I don't know, you just be a little bit hard-fisted sometimes in that area, like, you know, I'd like to say, don't go with an fist, but doing things how you feel, but there's plenty of yours on tonight, guys, so let's get your thoughts and your opinions, why don't you throw some questions at me, I'm sure I want to know, I can ramble on for God knows how long, why I check a few emails there, let me know if there's anything you want to know, while I check out YouTube and delete all these bloody comments. Good comment, good comment, good comment. Does that, no, that's coming in, done, done. So I've got money in, I'm going to own this. Ah, so, oh perfect, so again, it's always nice, again we have a, we all have our own independent emails, but we have joint emails as well so we can see what's going on, so it's good. Get, yeah. CISH, you know, I see, don't my absolute tits. Do you know what? This is another thing that pisses me off. You, you want to have you go on your own, but what the fuck does the government even do to help you go on your own? You went over a certain threshold, you have to pay tax. You have people work for you, you have to pay CIS. People work for you, pay power. I'm not bothered about that, but there's always shite to deal with. CIS and fucking HMRC. I'm happy, I like paying tax, and I'll always pay tax, but it does it annoys me because like I feel the more you want to go with it, the more you just get screwed over. Like I'm looking at a bill there, there's a two hundred and sixty-four pound on that bill, which is just VAT. Now we're VAT registered, but uh, so we get it back, but it just frustrates the hell out of me, you know. Each their own. The government needs to manipulate that to make it benefit businesses that are trying to have a push or even sole traders or vice versa, because I feel like unless you're up there like Tesco or Starbucks and stuff like that, we get absolute shit on, but anyway. That's a story for another day. So we've got a couple coming in now. So Sam McKenzie, how long do you feel like it took you for an apprentice to start picking things up and get good? So me, I was thrown straight in the deep end doing council heating systems, boilers, bathrooms. I remember when I think I'd just passed my, I'd passed my test, driving test when I was 7 to 18, and the gaffer when I was a classical key for letting me lend his van for a week. So that, that was a big statement for me. That was a bold statement. Like the boss of your company letting me lend the van. There was a few people there. So I was driving around to London doing a lot in there. Cut long story short, when I bought it back to the day, I was back. I reversed it to a fucking wall, but I was shitting it, but it was good. Uh, when they had layoffs at the company, they kept me on, do you know? And it, it, that boosted my confidence things that I obviously knew I was good at what I did. But again, it took me about a year to get into the swing of things, doing the research at home. You can't, again, you want to be good at something, you have to practice on your craft. You can't just go home and be like, Eight while four, I'm going, I'm done now. You have to go home. I sit in my loft sometimes, joining pipes together, soldering them, reading the books, doing the training. Then three or four years, instead of going out pissing up, doing drugs and giving it big ones with your mates, put the graft in and you end up doing what, like, we're doing at Caprani. The knowledge we have as a team is obviously superior. We've all put the graft in, so... A couple of years of thinking, then you realise, like I say, so respect for that one, mate. Uh, Connor Evans, hi mate, bit of a random question. What do you keep all your waste fittings in? So again, I'll do a bit more of an in-depth van for Connor and respectful support. I have my Milwaukee pack out system, so I've got two other trolleys and two other trays have just got white. Email's still coming in now. Two other trolleys are just literally white 
and black. So I've got push fits on one, push fits on there. And again, I used to do that. I used to be a bit of a harder on the van. But again, I don't. I don't know, I've, I've, I've streamlined for lean production. If we get any big projects coming in, obviously I'll have quoted it, so I'll know what I need, but I keep general stuff on the van, so our win ratio on a job is, we can carry most job repairs, meal and repairs, so eight or 10 jobs, which is standard. And our merchants are scattered all over, they're quite local, so, but we do keep stock, but you can over put gear in your van, you know. I've got a 54 mil fucking valve sat in there, which I've had in there for a year now. I need to put it in the stores, so don't tell the office, will go mad at me. Dan Smith. So respect for that support, thank you, Connor. Dan Smith, did you ever cash flow issues scaling up? If so, how bad and what did you do to get through it? So Dan, cash flow issues, no. Yes and no, yeah, no we did. One of the big things with us, cash flow is key. And again, profit one is not a dirty word. And two, when you've done a job, you are entitled to your money. The way we got wrong that as a business, card machines. We've done your job now, Mrs. or Mr. Thank you for a warning as a wet. There's a cash machine, there's a card machine for payment. And they get a little bit, oh, I'm like, without being whole on your respect, we're fitting your boiler, fitting your radiator, doing your bathroom, da 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 da, we do payment now. You don't go to a fucking fancy restaurant, salt there or whatever, and say, oh, I'll pay them for each time. You pay there and then on the dot and you know what you're getting. Why do this, why do tradesmen have this stigma where it's like, oh, I'll pay them three weeks? It's bullshit, it's not on. People who work for companies get paid weekly. The company doesn't come to them and go, I'll pay this week's wage in three weeks. You know, we need paying straight away. We're tradesmen, we're family to feed, staff, vehicles, places to run. So cash flow issues, no, because we, we tighten our belt up a lot and watch the figures. We do a profit and loss. Jessica's well in with a profit and loss now. So every day we know what's being paid out, what's coming in and we keep on top. And that makes us be able to make calculated Assessments for the future, for pay reviews, uh, things like getting the premises, getting new vans, you know, it's always looking and doing so, that's kind of bit of that one, you know, but it does happen, I'm not saying we have good times, we have times where the bank dips massively, but we know there's X amount due in on the invoices imminently, so it kind of weighs itself, look, business is never like this, it is literally killing it, going to quit. Killing it, gonna quit. Killing it, gonna quit. It, it, but if you squash that and condense it, it ends up being quite level, so... It can be hard, but no, thank you for that. That was a good question. And for Milton, went great, Frank. Start a new job in a hotel as a plumber. I'd say the hardest thing is finding all the valves. No, and that is another thing, Anthony. Well done, mate. Hope the job's going well. Knowledge is power. While you're there, make sure you put a lot of work in if you're planning to stay there and understanding where all things are because put yourself in a position where you literally become... Uh, put yourself in a cushion where you become indispensable. Knowledge is power. So bear that one in mind and hope it's going well. Uh, PB, my old men always used to say, problems found you in life, so don't take them on. Always go with gut feelings. I respect PB, one of the day ones. So guys, all give a wave, whatever you are, we do on here to PB. One of the respect day ones, a true supporter. And I respect that for you guys. We've got a lot of, a handful of people that show a lot of support. You end up being stuff when they're showing them. So it's, it's emotional to say the latest. But no, yeah, going back to what PB said, my old men always used to say, problems find you in life, so don't take them on. And that's right. I'm going to, Put a post on them on socials shortly about fear going on about what I like it. You go with go instincts and like don't procrastinate. There was a saying about someone saying, if you hold a full glass, if you hold a glass full of water and hold it for an hour, your arm will ache, but an empty glass, your arm will ache. That's basically like saying problems will arise, but just go with the flow, like you said. Do you know what I mean? Go with the flow. So respect for that PB. Uh, Anthony Middleton, true, respect. Sam McKenzie, thanks for time. He ends up being, hi mate, you're certainly putting a long shift today. Glad you got the van going earlier, being there, know the feeling. He ends up being, again, another day one from that. Uh, respect for that, mate. No, it was a nightmare that I tried doing what you said, appreciate that. But I, it, you won't have it, so put it back to the back, it's got to go. But it's been a big shift, it was in the office this morning at half five. Got a fair job, cracked on with that. We've made good progress on that. The only shit thing is still we found on the zone, on the floor, which I just wanted to wear off. I thought it was a radiator second. But look, again, Failure, it's not failure, it's a problem, but we saw it, we'll discuss it with the client, do it, so. Hey ho, but respect Jan Zabi, as always. Uh, Connor Burns, thanks for answering, mate, love the content. Respect, mate, for uh, respect for asking us a question and loving the content, so thank you, sir. Sam McKenzie, have you always had habits such as waking up early since you was young or something you've been playing in the last few years? So no, that, put your own story short, uh, when I worked for somebody, I was in the mindset of, I was always driven to do things and always wanted to do things, but in the mindset, you get paid on Friday, you, you, you become cycle until cycle where one day it's like, oh, wait, it's payday Friday. Payday comes, fucking weekend, blowing and do what you want, come Monday. And I was like, mm, need to get a cycle. 
went on my own. Things changed massively. Your points in life changed massively. It's maybe in the past four or five years getting up early. The original office that I had was in the back of the garage and it was fucking freezing the winter. But uh, getting up early is paramount. If you want to get ahead of the game and get ahead of people and be the best that you can be, the only way you're going to do that is doing what people won't do and what, what people do a lot of. They'll happily lay in bed. Stay in bed till seven o'clock, rush to get out and get to work. Nish doesn't happen for me, I like to be up early. Then a few hours a week, like I say, you guys want to see it. And this is another thing that pisses me off when I get negativity off people and they go to me, well, I fucking only bend the candle at both ends and blah, blah, blah. I have got no fucking business being up at 10 o'clock on the night. What am I doing at 10 o'clock on the night? What's the point of being awake at 10 o'clock on the night? Now, I'm not on the tonight, that's quite contradictory to that, but the wife's not in tonight, I shout with the kids. I mean, now just pop back to office, I'll be in the office early again in the morning so you guys will see. But being up late on the night, no one's got no business being up late. Watching TV, uh, sat on your fucking phone, Instagram, doing stuff. What are you benefiting from your life on that? I go to bed early to get up early to work on my hustle, which is trying to put money in. You know, you're not going to get no better than that. I'm working on my dreams, and your dreams can soon get swallowed by your phone and TV. So that's maybe a little bit of food for thought. Getting up early, even if you've got up at, if you've got up at five o'clock, went to bed at nine o'clock or ten o'clock, say. 10 o'clock at 5, you're still getting 7 hours sleep there, which is more than adequate for the human adult, I'm not science teacher, but for an adult. But you're going to get two, two hours in the morning, at the end of it, that's 10 hours, that's 10 hours working side hustle, so think about that one. Uh, where are we at now? Rock, motivation quote of the day, not had one of them yet for a while, so here's one for you and everyone else. In the depth for struggle, lies an opportunity respect now that is a good motivation but try to get one today on the air video no i've not had a while obviously day was off matt was off yeah 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 but i have got one of matt today i think it's just basically get the fucking camera off <laughs> but no they're coming back around it's just driving people and keeping people more informed and keeping that morale up. morale keeping morale up is a big thing i try to do it one site work and it come on lads let's go let's fucking get this job smashed you know morale is a big thing in business and you've got to keep your team morale high so motivational speeches i love that Craig McGregor, evening mate, evening team, respect, it's just uh, me on my own tonight in the office, but you know. Brendan Fisher, how do you choose the right office staff? Hard one, I don't know, I think we've been fortunate, we had a guy called Rich before him, which was a great uh, asset to the company, but sometimes it can cut off people, we had good engineers at the company as well, sometimes they are cut off what you want, it's, you will go for people, and I got a little bit upset at one point in the business where I thought, do you know what, I've had some people come go now, it's a bit... Bit shit, bit depressing to feel like you know, I don't want people to come and disappear. But inevitably, whatever you do in business is going to happen. People always come and go, no matter what you do. But the people you want to keep, you want to try to keep, not try keeping for the money and stuff. You want to keep them because they're good people and they they do well in the meanwhile. So I feel we've got a real good team now. You'll see on the videos we've got a good team. The banner flows and it's a good laugh. So it, it is an add-on. But like I say, going back to what PB said, you've got to go where you got instincts. JRS twelve, respect, mate. Uh, Anthony Little and Jewish plumbers took more pride in first fixing. Some plumbers have been literally didn't care. It's each their own. I do jobs now. Could cut corners and go, I'm not give a fuck. But I always like to think, like, you know, I go to jobs sometimes, look at them like, fucking hell, this guy's done a good job, or this woman's done a mint job. I don't ever want to be the guy where people go and go, oh, the fuck's done this? And oh, they've got, I'm like, fucking rough cunt, you know. But each of their own, like I say, I. Uh, I do, I've done new builds and we've got away from it. Just don't like them, there's no, they don't want to do things properly. You see what we do, Brownie. They just want to sling it in and go for the cost, so. Uh, Craig McGregor, couldn't agree more. Early starts and late evenings, haha. What is there to do on a night? Sit and watch you, depressed after that speech. And where to get me from? <laughs> no, I don't mean like that. Don't mean like that. I respect Craig. Tall bags in the post, mate. Well, the piece is getting it sorted this week, so I respect for that. Craig. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not saying it's each own, you know, we've all got family and stuff, I'm in here tonight, I won't be usually back, I'm in here tonight because the wife said the wife's out with the grandma's, with the kids there saying over tonight, I've got a busy day again tomorrow, so I'll be here again tomorrow, I'll be up at half hour in the morning, sat here, coffee in hand, doing things, just plugging, chugging along with the business, because sometimes, you know, that's all that needs to be done, just keep knocking on that door, Denzel Washington says in a motivational speech, speech here for you, if you hang around the barbers for long enough, you're gonna get a haircut. You know? Simple as. Bear that in mind. Uh, Tom Blood. Thoughts on pension planning, investments in business owner, self-employed. So, thoughts on pension planning. 
you're asking the wrong guy, I ain't got a pension, I had a pension with the old two companies, I've not done nothing. Now, I should have a pension, do something with it, but I'm heavily invested in Caprani. I've got goals and targets set, what I want to do, where I want to be, so I may be walking a bit of a better fire, so I may be the wrong guy to ask for that, and you guys need to get pensions and things put in place, but I want them, I think I'll, I'm going to make my own path and try to do it. I believe Caprani, passionate, and I know, I don't believe, I know, believe, no, not happening. I know that Caprani will go places, they will, will look at doing what we do with it and it'll franchise out. You guys are proving the pudding, the amount of people who say, God, we'd love to work at Caprani. Da, da, da. That speaks volumes to me and I, I believe we're doing the right thing here and I think you guys, a lot of people would like to think so. Like I say, mate, it's, it is, isn't it? So, investments as a business owner, self-employed. So, our next big investment is going to be New business is getting set up very shortly, Caprana Media, which is going to deal with all the social media affairs, all that stuff like that. We're going to set that up. We're also going to look at setting something up where we give something back to you guys in relation to understanding business. Now, I'm not a business. I can't, look, I can't say I'm not a businessman. Obviously, I'm a businessman. I've got a business. But I'm an engineer at heart. You see what work I've out there. I just do like what PB said. I do what's right, and I think what's right for me and my goal. But uh, we're going to start putting a lot more content out there for you guys. Come up, we're still going to keep the banner flowing, don't we do it? But I want to maybe start like a bit of a side hustle in relation to building the business and how to build the business and how to grow your business. I think it's something you guys deserve. You put a lot of time in watching us and enjoying the content. So I think that'll go down the storm, like I say. Uh, and you've put a goal, business owner, self-employed, investments, Stocks and shares, you know, doing it calculators. Calculating financial risk, you can't go wrong. Keeping money in your bank is no good. Keeping cash is no good. You need to get it out there, do things. Bricks and mortars, the one for us as well. Looking at buying this place after Christmas, so I want to buy the full place, the yard, because we we'll lease it now with the shop above, the shop, the the flat above. I've done the calculations. I believe the flat will pay for the full building. We're going to refurb it, pay for the full building. There's a few tax ways we can get around thing and stuff. And then if we grow, this is always going to be HQ on the main premises, but if we go, like, I think we're going to go, we'll end up converting the flat, the top into flats, like, say, so. Where are we now? I've seen a good one come through there. I'm looking forward to getting to that one, but I can't, don't, I don't go for much. Dan Jay, have you thought about doing any videos fellow business tips? Dan Jay, just took the words right out of my mouth. Going to do all that. We've got, like, say, the side hustle coming up very shortly where we're going to be doing a lot of, like, how to grow, how to invest in your business, how to grow a brand and stuff like that, so... I didn't even know to see it come up. Respect. Bang. Have a good night, mate. Crack on tomorrow and see, see you soon, lad. Thanks for the support, as always. Uh, for business tip motivation. Motivation, Dan. You're getting what you put out. If you're going to put 100% in, you get 100% out. If you put 10% in, you'll get 10% out. So think about that. You've got to be self-motivated, self... Uh, motivation in. It's, it's discipline. It's discipline yourself for the end goal. Motivation's there, but discipline's a big thing. So you've got to be disciplined. And you will get disciplined, all you people now and people that watch it back. The way I discipline myself is, I set my goals and I look and I'm like, this is where I want to be. Uh, duh, duh, duh. And the only way I'm going to get there is if I do this. Keep doing grinding what I'm doing now. And that's why we will get there because I keep doing and doing and keep plugging it like I said. Keep going and going and going. Me sitting at home, switching off at four o'clock I'm done and doing now and watching TV. You tell me where that's going to get you because you're going to get nowhere. I'm not saying watching TV is bad, you know, but God, it takes me and maybe to watch a film to a week, so I might watch 10 minutes every now and again, but I've got better things to do with time in a nutshell, so, like, occupy you a lot. Uh, Kez Alford, keep it up, Nath. Could you talk about cost of apprentices, long term, short term? Uh, Kez, can you give us a bit more information in relation to cost of apprentices? So, obviously, the apprentice minimum wage now is quite a, it's a decent amount what they get paid, but it's making sure people work for you. Oh, look at that England fruit is thingy. Well, I just thought the fancy didn't come up, but uh, it's investing right. We've had quite a few apprentices, but you've got to keep uh, you've got to keep them on the right track. They get led in a thing nowadays where they're always like on the phone doing things. You've got to keep them motivated as well, and it's hard sometimes. I've got to motivate myself, but I've also got to motivate the team. We all motivate each other, so it it can be hard, like I say, but it's. One of them, do you know, you've got to look after your apprentice, invest in them, but the biggest investment is putting time in them, that's all I want. All I want as an apprentice, I just want time. Like, I, I suppose it's like an relationship, you just want time out of it, do you know. So, like, with Matty, we can all see jokes at how good Matty is now as an engineer. I've invested heavily in Matty, not necessarily financially, do you know, he gets paid well, he gets looked after, but more knowledge now. I'd like to think, what a guy, I'd be so upset and gutted if he decided to leave, but I'd like to think he wouldn't want to leave, you know, he's got a good job, he does things, but... The knowledge he's taken off me and what he'll 
he'll he'll push through to people that he teaches. He's lot he's carrying the Caprani business through, so it's a big thing for that. So training people is a massive thing, massive massive thing. Uh, do we agree? Do we agree with Craig McGregor? Different when you work for one of the big boys, all the bonus structure, very difficult for the right job. I still do, but it's very difficult. Who knows what's in it? No, respect Craig, respect that. It is hard. That, that's man setting people up, and that is people working, people manipulating them. Look, I'm going to dangle this carrot in front of you. If you do all this job fast, then cut corners and get more money, because they're getting more money. Never ever want to become, look, I'll say it and say it again, profit in a data word, but I don't want to become a profit driven company. We have to make profits to succeed and go far and obviously be able to invest in future people and stuff, but profit in a data word, but profit can be used right, but profit can also be manipulated to uh, benefit the big fat cat sat at the top and people get put on bonus structures. And I, I'm not really into that about bonus structures, I don't. I think people should be looked after in better ways. My bonus to my team and things like, obviously, I say bonus to get paid, but we're putting the gym in the back, we're investing into the back, we can use vans out of work, putting a barbecue in the back, training facilities. I want to invest in our team as much as we can to make them the best engineers possible, even the office staff. One of the best people in the UK, working Caprani, on the best pay as well. And morale is massive and motivation in the business as well, and being looked after in business. Getting up and going to work five fucking days a week, you know, if you're not happy, you're shit. Getting up and going to work, looking forward to going to work on a Monday. I look forward to going to work on a Monday. I know the team do. Well, that's what they're telling me. But that's a big thing. Enjoying your work is a massive thing. Uh, when you can punch my in the leg, it's coming, PB. Trust me, it is coming. <laughs> Anthony, I've already said respect, mate. Appreciate that. Uh, Craig, great, great to see more. More around systems and interest to see your method of block to radiators. See a few different methods and blocking flow and turn sales. No, I've got loads of things coming, like I say. Trying to get the content right, and I think we're plugging it right where we do a little bit of service and a little bit of thingy. Uh, yeah, but we've got a lot of good things coming up on good videos, so we'll, we'll, we'll keep them coming. Craig, love positivity, handing in my P40 to my grandson and self employed. Now, respect. Don't, <laughs> don't do anything on the balance where I said calculate the risk, get your facts and figures in order, Craig. But again, we are always at the end of the phone. If you need our mate, we're always willing to help, like I say. It's, there's not enough of that out there nowadays, there's not enough of people. And that's what I get pissed off because I struggle with that. I struggle because I like to speak to people. I don't want to necessarily really do things. I like to have this one-to-ones and be like, look, ask me the question, how do you set up a business? How did you get to this stage? I'm happy to tell you, not to add, I'm doing what I feel I'm going right and I feel that like everybody deserves a bite of the apple. Do you know, depending if you want to take it further, but everyone deserves a bite. If you're passionate, we'll have a go. You all deserve a bite. I'm not saying that I'm a... I'm not saying I'm the number one guy, I'm not nowhere near that, you know, there's people out above us, but we do as a company what we think's right and we'll keep doing it like saying, keep moving forward, so. Peter Dawson, respect for coming through, had the good one job go. Went well to be fair, Peter, it's good, all up and running, uh, I had to do a few bits in the boiler, all done. The only nightmare with it is now is we've found, Peter, that a lot of the pipe work that's been installed was not insulated, it's like this one here, it's corroded and split, so we're potentially having to look at repiping the full thing. You'll build with it's the, is it the mice and beams? Is it called mice and beam? What's that floor with of concrete blocks in? Concrete blocks, I'm sure it's mice and beam and concrete blocks, but anyway, it's got that in, so that is gonna be a bit of a nightmare, but we've got it contained for now, like I say, we've managed to repair a certain leak under a floor to dig that up, but we've got that contained for now, so that's maybe something for the future. PB, you've got a great team there. As well as any company, you're only as good as your worst employee. No, and respect for that PB. We do, like I say, do a lot of one-to-ones in their meetings and that with team. We're always constantly meeting up and seeing if we can better each other, better the team and better the business, because at the end of the day, look, we all come to work, apologies. We all come to work and do our job, but, the business has to work for all of us. It has to work for all of us at the end of the day. I don't want anyone, I'd, I'd be so disappointed if anyone come to work and said to me, I'm fucking fed up, I hate my job. I'd be like, fucking hell, why has it got to this stage? Why have I not spoken to before this? It's like, you come to work. I can see it in the morning with the team, they're happy, they're laughing, I walk in, there's a crack. Someone else comes in, there's always a crack going on. Having a crack at work is good and having a good laugh. That's a massive thing, motivational and crack with the team, you know, so. Uh, where are we now? Look, look, Westwall. If one has a fallout in a small team, it affects everyone. No, I, I get that, but look, we have a, quite a few group chats on the go. We've got maybe an engineer group chat and an office group chat and stuff. I always stay away from confrontation and falling out. You know, it's about delegating roles and stuff, and there's, there's certain roles that people do in the business. But we don't really have fallouts. We might have stay ways, but at the end of the day, we all wear as a human. And I say it when we're at a meeting yesterday, it got a bit serious, but I say in the meetings, well, like I said, so look, 
What happens in this room does not affect when we go outside this room. We might get a bit, not Effie Jeffrey, but might get a little bit heated, blah, blah, blah. But what happens when we leave this room, we still, as we come in, we just need to tell a few facts now. Maybe cut a few ones open, but we're doing it to grow the business and help business. We need to find out what's wrong. Hit the nail on the coffin now and move forward. I'm always a big sayer. Start positive, finish positive. In the middle, see what needs to say. That's my motto on that. Uh, Craig Wiggins, we've got it right with it, mate. Keep it up. Would love to work for Caprani. Run right. What a guy. Fucking what a guy, Craig. Yenza B, any news on the merch? We'd like a couple of team Caprani shirts and a hoodie for winter. Yenza B, big respect. So the wife's on with that now, obviously. It's not took a delay, I would say it's took a delay. It's just calmed down a little bit. The other reason being is... Please don't let me know. No, that's fine. It's on some stuff. Uh, sorry, what I was saying there. It is in the making now. I'm just getting a few bits done and sorted. So, PB, good night, mate. Thanks for the live. Catch you tomorrow. And it's, don't forget the live. PB, we need you on the live tomorrow, as we do all the Craig and everybody. We need you on the live tomorrow, because I think we might be shaving looks there, so... Again, that's a little bit of balance, just a little bit of banter with the team in it, so. But yeah, look, we should follow up. But we, I try not to follow up with the team, like I say, I'm just straight short uh, tell them, obviously, there's a problem, I'll deal with it there then. I'm not one to pussy for it around, like, you've done that wrong, but we'll sort it out and do it this way. Do you know, or I want them to tell me if I do something wrong, I want them to guard me, because again, I don't know if I need guidance as well as the team, like I say, so. There's my thing on that one. James S, hey, loving this live video. No respect, it's, it's a good one tonight. A lot of people are coming on. Sorry, right, I just see that little laptop stand there. Look, I've been persuaded, and to be fair, I can sit here now and just play tickety tick tickets. It's just because it's not my dad's shows, isn't it? But yeah, no, Dale, Dale's converted me. He has. Uh, <laughs> but no, the merchandise is he, imminently getting done, like I say. We're just trying to get this next business set up with it. So I'm going to set you guys right on now at Target. By the end of August, we will have a, a merchandise, merchandise available online. But we're going to run a little bit of a competition and stuff with it as well, do you know? Look, you guys, the day ones, you know, day ones, no. I don't want to say no names, you'll all be getting individual messages. But the day ones, no, the ones that will be getting merchandise for free. They support us from the start, and that's still here now. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a quite a decent group here, and the support goes and notice, you know, it's, it means a lot. So I want to give back to you guys, it's a big thing. And seeing people like yourselves with the air, uh, PB subs climb mate, no respect, appreciate that's me. And again, another another day one. I want to give something back to you guys because you guys have obviously kept me going to get the channel going. I, I, I'm enjoying that. We've got big ideas for the channel, so watch your space. Uh, block and beam, that's it. Block and beam. What's a mice and beam? Then why have I said mice and beam? I don't know, but you to be. You're a clever guy, so Yenzibi, let's get a bit on the, Let's get a little bit on Yenzibi then. What's your real name? Where are you from? And uh, what did you go to job? Look, Westwall, mate, make, make it look different to your uniform. Don't want people giving you... No, no, that's something we took on board from all your followers, so we're going to try to keep like, the uniform brand, but while we've got quite a few on live now, it's going to be... I think we're going to go around the road to Team Caprani. But I might make the brand, I want to keep the branding logo there, but maybe just get rid of the plumbing and eating. Just keep Caprani and team above it, and then we know it's different, you know, as a division of the business grow, Caprani Electrical, Caprani Aircon, whatever, that will always take up there. Daniel Warren, hi mate, hope you're well, bud. Yeah, that'll always take up the thingy, but I think it'll just be the brand with the hashtag team above it, so people will know. It is hard that I had this conversation with Dave about someone, it's like, someone wears Nike, and goes and rubs a car. It's a real hard one, it's a real touchy subject that like I'm not saying like oh, I'm saying like, I'm just I'm saying it is gonna be a hard one, but look it's the main is gonna to have to go out there and I'll have to be able to be, you know, you guys want it, I want to deliver it, we want to deliver the team and it's it's coming, so yeah, that's something I think we'll do. But again, we've gone a little bit quiet on the uh, questions now, so I'm gonna to, to the laptop. Let's get a little bit more of this feed going. We've got a good view, we're 50 minutes in, 40 views on live now. Mike Jones enjoying the live. Richard Jones, Mike Jones join our live. No respect, mate. Thumbs up. Back to you. It's a good live. It's been a bit of a debate tonight, and I think the one tomorrow will be a lot better. It's nice to see stuff. Oh, perfect. So nice to see things always being done. Like the video, look So no, it's, it's a bit of a different one, and I do want to make these videos a little bit different. It's going on a little bit, but OCD obsessive compared this. <laughs> 
said that the other day and that absolutely made my night. That was absolutely, uh, that was quality. What a guy, Phoebe. I thought he was good anyway. <laughs> nice, stay on the front, mate. I like it. It's good. Top Guy Nathan, where everyone from and company. Top Guy Nathan, where everyone from and company. Yeah, fair play. Where is everyone from? What company you work We all your own? Craig Dundee, 50 minutes from Far Far. Uh, Scotland, British Gas just now. We're trying to set the standards from the front. No respect, mate. And I like what you've done there, Craig. That's real good. You're off PB, but you just don't want to go. But he just started something there, Craig. So let's get a bit of chat inside, lads. What's your name? Uh, are you self employed? Do you work for a business? Uh, are you a business owner? Do you know? Get it in the comments, let's have a catch up about it. I got that to go on, so I'm just going on to bed on me, huh? That's good. Uh, Stephen Fanforps, come on there. So, I don't want to love the videos. How long did you work for someone before you went on your own? So, I went on my own when I was. Ooh, 27. 26, 27, so I did literally 10 years on my own. Did my apprenticeship at a good company, Classical Gas and Cotton, I can't slate them. It was a great company to work for. Learned the ins and outs of general basics, house, domestic plumbing. Moved to a company called SR Black, did five years there. And I mostly still be there now. I always want to go on my own, but poor management coming. And I've learned like a lot of things like being managed by poor people, which makes me be aware now because I feel like I treat people like I want to be treated, and I think it works. I think we're all the same, we all want to be treated good and uh, be looked after at work. So poor management being shouted at and do this and ah, fuck that, I'm not into it. Not into it. Someone told me to do something, I just said, fuck off, not interested. Not below, I get my toes, I'm going. You can ask me politely and do it, thingy, but no one would want to wait after getting told what to do. Go fucking fit that boil now, get it put on the wall and do that. No, bye bye. Would you mind uh, giving me a fitness boil? Of course one, mate, not a problem. It's how we speak to people. Dealing with people is a big thing, you know. We don't want to be shouting and screaming, that's so. Steve Fanfort, you've got the right mindset, mate. There's always work about for people that do a good job. It's better we spread knowledge, mate, because the world goes on. No, I totally agree, Stephen. Totally, totally agree. There's a, there's a stigma in the community, and it. it's where I've seen kind of a little bit of a... PB, seven plug on the base, write them off. I've seen five minutes for another comment drop. <laughs> what a guy, what a guy. Uh, right mindset, it's better we... No, it is. The, the stigma I see in the community now... Not plumbing, just all trades. It seems to be now where it's like people don't want to know things, people don't want to tell people things because they feel like, oh, well, I'm doing it. But it's like, well, just be transparent with it and do, do whatever. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's each to their own, isn't it? So, each to their own, like I say, and they do do what needs to. But I, I want to let people know that they can do things for themselves and you know, you can do it. And we are living proof of Capone, it can be done. You can have a go and do it. So, Keep plugging on, right where we're at now. PB's gone, sorry to keep, cut that one out there. Uh, da -da. Dan J, Dan Swindon on my own, no wolf. God, I remember them days, I don't miss them. But respect, I know it's hard, doing everything on your own, mate, so respect. Things like doing system conversion and bathrooms, that I'm fucking soul destroying. I still do a lot of work on my own now, like I say, but it's always nice to have someone there to help you. More of the office staff, if I'm on the tool, look, you'll give me any project on my own, I'll smash it out. But it's when the full, you're dealing with the back end and stuff, it's not nice. So I. I I sympathise on that, mate. Respect. Lancashire, Luke Whistle, I work for a house association, constantly rushing job. That's another thing, do you know, if jobs are priced right, you need to have your time on to be able to deliver the goods to the client. That's what I like to think we do at Caprani. We set the bar high. Look, we are premium. We, we're a premium business. We charge premium prices. I will not disagree with that, but you see the service we deliver to our clients. We deliver premium goods and premium work, so you pay for what you get, I'm a big believer. PB, self-employed. There he is again. Dan one, how did you work out your price when going on your own? I won my band. Real simple. Really, really simple, this one. Yellow pages, Facebook, ring the one man band competitors in your areas and ask for prices. You don't have to say you are. Is that, uh, is that West Way Plumbing? Yeah, just uh, inquire about boiler service. I've got an idea logic, just want a service on it, how much you're looking at. Inquire about prices. Oh, do you, do you, do you charge call up charge? Nothing wrong with that. You've got the balls to make the call and do it, you're gonna find out and then you're making sure you're pricing in the right area. <coughs> you're being competitively priced, as we say, that's the best way to it in my eyes. James S, how much do you think you need to start on your own if you had to do it against the... When I started, I only had 2,000 pounds in the bank and I lent a van off from it, so I lent a little Vauxhall combo uh, and the gear thing kept popping out, so... I lent a Vauxhall combo and the gear, what was it, not the gear thing, the... Oh, what was it? 
So anyway, but I had that for six weeks. Then I managed to lend £4,000 off Jessica's granddad and I paid that literally straight back within a few months, got rid of that straight away. And that was it. First farm, got the first farm. Built a bit of money up, bought another van, took someone else on and then built it like that. It takes time. You cannot run before you can walk. It takes time. But if you set your targets and your goals, you will get there. You need to always make sure you're working towards targeting goals. That's a, that's a big thing. Dar Smith, hi, 20. Time for rent, even, a late one. So there, it's the late one again, Tommy, but again, we just crack on and do it. So we've hit over 50 people live now. That's a big achievement for the Caprari gang. So respect and appreciate that as always. The numbers are constantly growing, but again, we enjoy doing the content. We enjoy you guys watching it. So thank you very much. I will post this video as well. Some of the videos I've done live, I've took down to thought some of them maybe not putting on, but I'm going to put this one on because it's alive with the fans and I think it's really good. You know, it's been a lot of good talking tonight. So Craig McGregor. British Gas, 40 minute service, breakdown, 60 minutes, long LD, lead section for hours, very tight at times. Whoa, that is tight. That, that's ridiculous, absolutely. Can't wave them around compost, just rubbish getting on the engineer's jobs and having to do it correct. Yeah, it's, it is hard, it is hard. But again, all about breaking the mould, get out of that cycle, get on your own, Craig, and go for it, mate, and, and do what you think's right, you know. Do the calculate this, but do what you think's right, mate. That's, that's what I say to that one. PB, still here, look. Darcy Smith, hi, I'm here too. Now I've just said hi Darcy, respect, I support Huddersfield Town. I don't do football, so I don't know if that's football or what, so respect for that, but I don't do that. Wow, now this is a big one, Patrick S. Canada based. Been watching you for months, enjoying and learning always. I'm 24 months in apprenticeship, so that is a big move that from Canada. So respect, hope it's going well. I'm sure your plumbing will be a little bit different to what where we do over here, but no. One, thank you for saying respect uh, your learning offers. And two, thank you for watching the channel. It's much appreciated, bro. Lewis Scoots, love your vids, really helping your apprentice. No, Lewis, respect, uh, appreciate it, mate. Again, like I say, uh, like I say we're trying to bend the mold in this game. We want to do what's right for you people and do things so... Sorry, I'm just looking at a quick email here. Uh, that similar swap you did that I put you forward to. Cause it, oh, respect, Tommy, what a guy. You need to pop in for a coffee, mate, and have a chat. Really appreciate putting that job. Sorry, mate, I didn't realize you so apologies. So the silver swap you did, I put you forward to. Custom message me, show them on. Loved your work and thanked your recommendation. No, that's uh, respect for that. And that, that just goes, show sure, didn't like our work speak for them. like proper guys, like, our man Tommy, is Tommy off? Is there a Tommy off Snatch? Tommy, Tommy, Tommy off Snatch. But no, that that's big respect, that mate. Thank you for doing that. Well. You don't have to do all that, but that's we are with the end and went together. And I, I'm the same. If I'm ever in a boot pickle, always reach out. So Tommy, respect. I want all you to give a little wave. What do we do? Respect Tommy, black man, big man. Thank you, Matt B. Run on commercial eating company main contracts NHS and schools. Love the content, mate. Matt B. Respect, mate. Again, that's. Killing it, doing well. The NHS school, so that you're doing very well, mate. It's good, obviously, you've done well to get there. So, respect, respect for the support and saying like context. Uh, we do a couple of commercial sites. I've done a bit of NHS and police and council back in the day when I went to another company, but we've just got a couple of commercial colleges we maintain now, which is big enough. There's a lot on there on them sites, but we do want to break out into the uh, thingy side as well. Well, we're in the commercial side, but I want to get more on it, but I don't want to take too much on that. I'm going to kill the business because we do a lot of like commercial, like the job we've done today and stuff, so respectful support, mate. So what we got next? Low whistle. I create my work as a save, not great having to probe and go on service and getting beyond that. Yeah, that is shit. It's not on that. Not on. Don't agree with it. You can get out of bed in the morning, you walk, just getting out of bed, you're behind in time. Getting out of bed, you're behind in time. You're behind with the time, not on at all. It's absolutely shit that, you know, like, you should be given time. Like, look, if you're going to take five hours in service, can't make what's going on, but an hour, hour and a half, do you know what I mean? You're doing a proper service. It, it needs to be done right, so, but that's it, unfortunately. Uh, My go to channel for learning plumbing, Shared H, hope said that right, but again, Respect, mate, and you guys, if you need anything off us, we will show you what we can and do what we can, so respect for that, mate. The has been a long one tonight, but the live's been good, so I'll end it when I feel right, but it's going well. It's got a lot of views and a lot of stuff going about. So we've got Seb McDonald next with, hello, mate, I'm 17 and keen to go self. 
Go self-employed and hopefully to set up big in the future. What time is the right time to go self-employed? Seb, there's no any right time. I'm so lame and things. This day, there's no right time. The only time to go self-employed is when you feel confident enough. And when I say about that, you're confident that you can handle yourself with clients. If you can have problems, jobs might not go to plan. Build the confidence first, then go for it. You know, you might be the best engineer in the world, but being an engineer when you set up your own business, you're not an engineer no more. You're literally the business owner, the account manager, the manager of jobs, diary, invoicing, the game changes totally. So make sure you're confident in all them fields, like I say, and go from that. So where are we at now? Roy, I've worked for the company since 2007. I've had aspirations set up on my own. I've gone past the doubts now. I've got things in place and the ball right next door, I'll be jumping shit. Respect for doing it and calculate your plan. Calculate the risk, I like that. Next autumn, so you've set your target. So if you have got Instagram, reach out to me, Caprana Plum Meeting, drop us a direct message. Uh, and if there's any advice, I'll give you my direct number. Is that what I can help with? I will. Again, I'm not the... I don't know everything, but if there's any advice I can help or you get stuck or anything on the business side of things, please reach out. We are all the team, all your people online now, the people that support us, we're a team. It's team Caprani in the end of the day, and that's what the merchandise is going to be. But when I get it out there, I want to see you all wearing it, so respect. <laughs> PV, I'm back there. When cool turkey white is a sheet and shit. <laughs> What an absolute legend. What a guy. I cannot wait to meet you. So, uh, how much work do you need to look at taking someone on? It depends, really. Again, that goes down to getting your facts and figures right. So, I spoke to someone about this the other day. Like, people have this persona nowadays where, like, I've got to put this fire out. So, today, I've got this on. I'm going to put this fire out. I'm going to put that fire out. I'm going to put this fire out. You can actually work smarter and earn a lot more money by working less. And what I mean by that is... People have, and I also have it as well, but I've, I've changed my mentality now. So I where I'd be going out on a day, like, I've got to fucking get this job done, get this job done, get this job done, get this job done, get this job done. Neglect the back end, don't invoice it, dun dun dun. Uh, what you need to do is, you need to get your costings right, work out what you need to earn to survive in your business and survive to pay bills and stuff. Once you've got that, you might look and go, fucking, I don't need to earn a lot of you. Then you can look at pushing some of that money to getting someone else and calculating that. You could come off your toes a little bit do a bit more of the admin side and stuff, and then they can start working for you, that makes sense. So it's all about calculating and understanding your business, the facts and figures, because I didn't at the start, I was just putting fires out, earning the money, thinking, fucking hell, we're doing all right, money's coming in, dirt, dirt, dirt. but you were kind of put yourself in there in the grave, so you get them bits right first, and there you're good to know. So, where was I there? Okay, we're going, yeah, it's not easy, look, and constantly being behind contracts, working for British Gas just now. Done most the Red Seals there, they seem to do the jobs at 10 minutes, British Gas pay them to catch up. From COVID, fucking hell, shocking. Yen to be at the moment, offshore North Sea rig, commercial gas tech. What a guy! What kind of commercial you're working up to there? Then he's obviously doing a high pressure test and stuff like. Cause I know there's a ticket above the ticket I've got. I can't know what it is, but someone had it that I knew before. Like pressure testing high lands. We used to be work on a chemical processing plant, like a health facility's chemical processing, and we had to test some mains on there, like twelve inch. Uh, Fusion welded mains, strength test, all that stuff with uh, but the gas compressor and stuff like that. I'm sure that is a different ticket, but let me know, you to be. You're a very clever guy in the way you are, mate. See, which gas up £49 of service just now, too. What are you? ASV, mate. I'll show me you have different prices for What are you for ASV and your service? Just, I'm a little bit finger with stuff like that, slangy, so just let me know. Show me your different prices for room seal, double plum, back boiler unit. Just let me know more on that, Craig, and I'll give you a shout out. PB's back, what a guy. Craig, we're going to be used to waiting off sea for Hallington down while I missed the money but not being aware. Even more now, a little girl now. No, it's family's everything. Uh, look, I'm only here tonight, I'm alive. Look, Jessica's staying out tonight with the kids, but I'm only here tonight because I just don't want to be on now. I've got a cat that doesn't like me, so. But I'm in here on live with you guys and we're having a bit of a scream to be fair, so fair. Nath, appreciate that, mate. I'll drop you a message on Instagram, respect. Anytime, mate, we're here. Here totally to do what we need to do, do you know what I mean? So change your mentality now, haha, ha, you're doing not to for boiler, so an idea. What yeah, I, I I won't do it. I've had people come before and go, was it bias if I could I don't know any particular They will say I'll give them a quote for boiler. Like 
Avery engineer has got their own, the Viesmans, Valence, Worcesters. We fit our deals, we like our deals. They're the ones that we like doing. Good boy is easy to fit. Everyone has their own opinions, but I like our deals and I've sworn by ours, I've always fitted our deals. Even back down to the shitty alley license, but obviously they're dead now, so, but anyways. If a client comes in and says, look, will you fit this boiler? We'll just say, not really, no. We have been horrible, we, 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 we'll supply for the boiler, but we don't want to fit a boiler you're going to supply. The reason being is, for the first thing we can go, pump with this boiler, and like, well, no, you've sorted it, do you know what I mean? So, not you've sorted it, we'll work with the it's been installed, but just, I've had too many problems with the past fitting boilers, and you want to supply it, do you know what I mean? You've not supplied the boiler, you end up with absolute fucking aggro, because there's parts missing, you're telling the client, it just gets sad. Look, Dale says this to us, control what you can control. If we supply the boiler and materials and do the job, we're controlling the full job. Client supplies the boiler, and that boiler might need a certain fit into whatever, and you can't get it, you got to eat. It's uncontrolled, you won't get the job complete, you're going to end up losing money, so control what you can control. Uh, Seb McDonald, I'm considering doing a night course on Sarah Mitchell Plumbing and Gas Course, I'm concerned with talent on renewable energy. Is it worth it then renewable for the future? Renewable, yes, definitely. It's something that's going to be pushed, especially this part, L, definitely. Doing a towel course, each to their own, but I'll go back to what I said earlier. We only have one pair of these. I do commercial, domestic, gas, LPG, oil, unvented, water heads, all that stuff. But there's too much going on in here. I need to delegate that to lads. So Luke's got his oil now. Matt's on with his gas now. Next engineer we get, we're going to look at, obviously, Luke's going to go through his commercial gas as well. So what's spreading the risk? If I snap my arm or I end up become serious injured, I can't be at work as it stands now. The business will become detrimentally affected because I'm a very key asset to the company. But I need to make myself disposable to the point of where if I am off, I want to take time off or something does happen, the business still runs. Now we are getting to that stage. We're getting there. It takes time, but we're getting there. But that is the end goal. I think for anybody taking too much on can be too much. So Craig, we're going to annual service visit, mate. Sorry, no, sorry, bud. So we are £60 plus VAT for a service. Uh, obviously that... Manufacturing instructions does what we need to do, seal change, anything like that, where required. But we are looking at obviously price review in relation to uh, certain things going to a service, and they'll say, Can you service the fire while you're here? Because again, we, we used to be quite cheap, but we, we've realised now that obviously you can't. If you service the boiler and service the fire, they both can be long drawn things. So we're looking at a few structure changes in the business to benefit us, like I say, as a business. So, look, we're still all at us. Does. Look, I, I've not got all the interest, I've just talked into the firm, work on some tank me bastard, but look, I've fitted one or two, not that I want to, and I'll repair them, I'll never walk away from repair, I'll always do a repair, I want to get the experience, so I will always do a repair. Chris Beckett, our deals are dreams fit, I'm starting to swing that way for other Worcesters, and I was like, ah, fair play, Chris Beckett, see, I'm still, uh, still our deal, our deals are dreams fit, bracket, hang it, pipe it, done, love it, nice job, so each in a row. Steve Fanfop, you got me wrong. I mean, what's your cheapest star deal you'd recommend? Oh, cheapest star deal. Sorry, bro. So, the cheapest one we recommend that we do all the Vogue, obviously, the Evo Max commercial ones, uh, the Logic, but we'll also fit the up here. We have the, they do the exclusive, all the instincts, which I think MKM's own brand. So, <laughs> what is that? Right, Chris Beckett does swing both ways. He's easily pleased, aren't you, mate? He throws me off course. <laughs> I like the banter, though. I like the banter. Where was I? No, no, sorry. Yeah, so we'll go down to the mid, the bottom range one, which is your contract, bro, which will give, maybe give you the two you want to. Uh, we'll always give the customer, do you want the top end, middle end, the last sale, get us the good one, or can you give us a price bit on? So we'll break the price down from, you know, it's only the manipulation, taking the price off in relation to the rain and stuff, so... That's that. Uh, PB always use quality products. I always say to customers, buy cheap, buy twice. And I'm the same. There's plenty of jobs we've had recently. People are like, well, I'll get this, get that, I'll go, well, that's fine if you want to get something else to do it. Not being over, but we like to fit quality gear. We know it lasts. And we don't want the callbacks. We don't want to fit something getting a callback in six months. Do you know, it costs the business money. And it, 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 you aren't going back to suppliers. You are not going back to suppliers and they're going to fuck a bill for you. It's just like, I need to, credit, I need to swap on that. Your players never ever go to you, oh, we'll, we'll sort out the time for you. Just, again, another thing that becomes expected of us, we'll fit a tap in six months little break. We'll have to go fucking take it out, replace it, free of charge, but take it back to suppliers and it, it does mean it's, that's why I hardly stay fitting good quality gear. I would add a little credit, mate. What one do you get? See, I deal with giving you a PS5 with 20 boiler sales, I'm sure. I don't know what was messaged me. I don't know if you're 
ashes. Sorry, the phone's gonna be mad. Uh, yeah, yes, we are because uh, what won't you get? So you get 12 of you on the Vogue. I can't want the rest of that. I'll leave that side to Dale to fair. That's his off thingy. So once I've done the jobs all the lads have, they'll just come back to the office and they'll sign them off. So it just makes it easier. And you always like to say, at the end of the year with the money we've got left over, whatever. Uh, it goes back to the business. Obviously, invest into the business, like I say. So focus, Niff and Craig. What a guy, what a guy. Uh, where was he? Craig McGay, a green PB, I buy best tools and clothes, you see, believe that. I do, I do. We get good tools and good clothes and supply lads with good stuff as well. I think it's a big thing. Uh, hi, people, Patrick Bandon, respect for coming on live. Have you always been VAT registered? My understanding is over 80 grand, you need to go VAT reg. Done a lot of digging over the years, but you need more experience. So VAT registered is actually, I think it's 85,000, or maybe got up to 87.5 thousand. But in a nutshell, the VAT pisses me off because I had to go VAT registered in the first year. Account said to me, now we've done something like £45,000 in materials because we had a bit of a contract with the student company, they were bathroom refurbs, charged them way too cheap. But the, the, the materials that come into your business is also classed as an income. So then it puts you on the back threshold. This is what I mean when you break your business down on your, your profits, your losses, your corporation tax, your VAT, it's bullshit. Your VAT should only, in my eyes, be on money that comes into the business because what if you was to do a job, some of the commercial jobs we can do, we can be fitting fucking commercial water, is that 20 grand a piece? 20 grand a piece in one job, could do two of them, it's 40 grand, you're halfway to your back threshold, the labour on top, you've nearly done it, do you know, so the VAT, the VAT shit, it's, it's a free quarter, a, a quarterly thing that comes every three months, which is scary, but is what it is, uh, Chris Becker, I've had that one already, Patrick Brandon, where's George, George will be in bed, hopefully ready for a big day tomorrow, Craig, folks, Nathan, I am, Wagging a little bit now, I'm on a far more minutes, I'm going to call it at night. It'll be a long laugh, but it's been a good laugh tonight. Uh, Stephen Fanforth, the Esprit Eco 2 is almost a logic minus couple of parts now. Five years half, cost just not in the kitchen there, home a little bit. Yeah, no, they are to be fair, the Esprit Eco fit one of them as well, they are the same. So logic minus couple of parts, yep, yeah, five years half cost. No, they do, respect to that one, so yeah, you're right there, mate. Combi or Mega Flight? Combi or Mega Flight, what's best? Adam Gas Extreme, you'll have to give a shout. Come be on Mega Flight. I don't know what Mega Flight is. I think you might mean System Boy, but give you a shout. Dan J, time to finish today's invoices. Hug respect for tonight's live, Nave. Top cut as always. Dan J, big respect. Appreciate you coming live. What a guy. Oh, Mega Float, there we are. Sorry, Dan. Respect for coming live, mate. Have a cracking night and all the most we see tomorrow, lad. Mega Float. Combi's are good for small houses, but obviously, someone tends to happen, it's not happening, so. I like to, I like doing the proper good systems, like I say. Uh, I like doing the, what do I like doing? The systems where the modern depth, look, anyone can sling a combi in, flow a tank, asphalt cold, done, bang, bish, bosh, bash. I'm not into it. I like, like that system we've done today, let's see that in the video from, if you've watched it tonight, if you want to go watch it. But that one we did there is a bit of a design, it's a system boiler, big fridge with a little rented cylinder. Priority domestic hot water. I'm new to that's the first one I've done. Someone said about it, so like I say, it's a uh... what a guy, Craig. What a guy. Uh, yeah, I, I like push myself. That's why I like doing things that are so for me. It's a system boiler, mega flow anytime. Patrick Brandon, how can I start my own plumbing business? Well, Patrick, there's plenty of videos coming on that, but if you feel up to it, drop me a message on my direct Instagram account. I'll send you my number, give me a call, we'll have a chat on the phone, mate. There's a lot of things, obviously, we could do with discussing, so... Yeah. Uh, name, Anwari, I hope I pronounced that right. I'm always missing your lives. Big up, Nathan, your legend, Hull's biggest export. Boom, what an absolute legend of a guy, so... Again, a big, bold statement there, but I respect it. I respect the hustle, you know. We're trying, we're trying to build a brand, we're trying, so I respect the support. The full team respects the support. Don't know where they all are now, they'll all be in bed, but anyway. <laughs> uh, where are Wednesday YouTube could Friday night out? So we've got something coming up for the team shortly. Uh, I'll admit, I was a little bit thingy. Do I get a little bit of uh, footage in it? But I think, do you know what? Fuck it, I'm going to do it. I think it'll be a good crack, we'll have a, a good fucking laugh, like I say, mate, so. Yeah, quality. So what we've got now, you're a bad influence there, should have gone to bed 30 minutes ago. To be fair, I should have, but I'll still be crack of the morning, so respect for PB for coming through again. Craig's on to win it with that idea, definitely, Peter, definitely. I think it's more Matty, see what the state Matty gets in. <laughs> Hi, Nathan, I'm a plaster and pinched all the plumber scraps there. Good on you, Patrick, I got the plaster, 
plus hey, up the uh, plumber comes in tomorrow and gets it back off you, mate, because niche, niche. If you're saying it out and you're all working on site together, fair play, but if you've robbed it, I'm not into that, mate. It's not on. Fees cut out and all that stuff, do you know what I mean? So, not feeling that at all, mate. Uh, yes, Nath, mate, out, I mean, respects that you respect. Got to love laptop stand. I know, look at it, it's just there. It's just there now, sits for me, the laptop stands. It's there. Uh, does its job, but like I say again, mouse mat, brand everything, boom. You want a drink? Brand everything, we're there. Got to get a name out there, my brand. Do as much as you can, like I say, do you know what I mean? Got to do, do it. Uh, yes, Dave, that was it. Dan J, five minutes, I'll stay then. PB wants to go to bed. <laughs> Craig McGregor put me down for coming to Hull for Capri to invite myself. Nah, do you know what I'm gonna do as well? Something a little bit different. So for all you fans and like supporters and stuff out there, it, one thing I've got coming up on the island as well is I want to look up Caprani, which will time well with the social media of the company. We're gonna put like a bit of a do on. We're gonna have to like obviously get in contact with everybody, put a bit of a post out there. Work out where is gonna be a central location. Even for maybe do like a, a, a north and a south location, an east and a west and do a night out because I want to meet you guys in person. It's nice seeing that, but it'd be nice to meet in person, get a bit of footage, you know, I think it'd be absolutely mint. So that's the plan. If you feel it, good for it, like, like say, let us know. It'd be good to meet everyone. So Ado James, Alston the Hilton in town. <laughs> what a guy. See you one day as if as Hodge. What does that mean? Hodge, see you one day as if. As Hodge, so, sorry, see you as one day bigger than Hodgins. Let me have a look at Hodgins at. Hodgins, Hodgins, Hodgins. Phones nowadays and it's mad, isn't it? Hodgins. I don't know, yeah. Are they a company? Someone give you a shout. Someone give me a shout who are Hodgins. But respect Tommy Blackman as a support as always. So Chris Beckett, how do I get my hands on some toe tech? Is the sweet respect, Chris? I'm just waiting. So all you guys that have been asking if we can wait, we're gonna get a discount code. So you guys obviously you'll get a Caprani discount code. I'm just waiting for them to come back with us about it. So as soon as that's out, I will be releasing it, like say, and making sure it's for you guys. So I'll, I'll drop drop the link in. Steve Hodgins. Who is Steve Hodgins? I don't know what it is. Steve Hodgins, plumbing and eating. Oh, they're in Hull. Let me have a look. So, incorporated into one, so fair play. And you can look. Right, look like a, a decent size company. I've never, I've not heard of Stephen Hodgins, to be fair though, so, fair play. Steve Hodgins, I've never heard of him. Never heard of him. Yes. The beautiful thing is you can go on companies house and look at any companies nowadays, but I'm trying to see how many people he's got. But respect for the support, I'll take that as a good comment, so I appreciate that. Steve Hodgins, Tommy Blackman, respect. Where are you from, Tommy, anyway? Local or give you a shout, lad, let me know. Craig McGregor, Peter, me and you can down for the tea night out. Nathan can buy the drinks and we'll just hand out Capri Flies. I am down for that. Seriously, I'm looking forward to meeting you guys. We'll definitely get something sorted. It sounds hopeless by the end of the year, but when you think about it, there's not a lot of the year left, so we'll definitely get something sorted in there. I'm sure it'll be fucking mint. Uh, Nico Davis still grafting, lad. So I've just popped back to office. I won't go to the lab too far. I was getting a few bits sorted. After price much British gas on the service, lad load 49 quid still seems steep. 49 quid seems steep. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Nico, I've, I've, also, I've done a few meals, but I'm done now. Just getting finished up on the live. We're 80 minutes in, and to be fair, respect for you guys coming on live. It's been nice. It's flowed real smooth. We've had 80 minutes of just a bit of banter and flowing smooth. So that has been class. I've enjoyed it tonight. It's been good. Really, really enjoyed it. So thanks for all coming on live. Uh, Joe Glover like that one. Steve Cannon, yes, it will soon be Christmas. So, I think that's it, guys. I think I'm gonna love Olivia. What I'm gonna do, you need to get. 
you need to get you and the team down to in social next year. No, so look, 80 minutes in there, but let's be honest, you can chat. Fucking hell. Can't I fucking chat? I can, mate. I'll be honest with you. Brand everything. Uh, installer, so quick one. Installer, we didn't get to it last year. This year, should I say. Reason being is, brand everything. Uh, we didn't get to it just because, obviously, work commitments this year. It was just busy. Again, big servicing contract pull off, so we had to get that sorted. But it, we've planned it this year that next year we'll be position where we can come. So watch your space. The full team will be there as well. A dentist will George stay with the company. George will stay with the company if George wants to leave, decides to leave, you know, I won't hold people back if he wants to go, but I want George to stay with the company. He's a valuable asset. People need uh, pulling reins a little bit sometimes, but they just need to know the place, and that's nothing malicious. I got it done to me, which a couple of one-to-ones, a little bit of thing. I want to put a lot of training into him because I believe George got a good George has got a good opportunity, but he's obviously given us a good opportunity because he's a good lad, so I want to make sure, like I say, that uh, he, he he stays so. So, next time coming along to installers, we'll definitely be there, don't you worry about that, like, bro. I've started saying brand everything, pissing me off. <laughs> respect, Chris, respect. Uh, next time, yeah, definitely. Wex, though. PB falling asleep. Nathan, brand everything. Good night, Nathan, all. Respect, King of Love. What a guy. Sorry, Nathan. Sorry, Nathan. Yeah, I'm local, whole lad. Show sure we know people in common. Great live video, keep it coming. Get you sent home and bed. Big day tomorrow. No, that's it, guys. So, I want to say again, Respect, thanks, uh, these lives are going down a tree. I like doing the videos, but I also like doing the lives as well. They go down well. We are currently at 49 people viewing, so... Bit of a big one tonight. We've got over the 50 mark, 50 people live, which not a lot, but it is for us. You know, it's our little community, the Caprani community. Hashtag Team Caprani. On that note then, guys, I'm going to head home, have some tweet, uh, get a shower, get in bed, message the wife. Might take a bit of pipe home, get a state of that. The copper's missing Brandon. <laughs> hey, well, I just feel. Just for you, lad. Hashtag Team Caprani. James S. Knight. Right, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you once again. Thanks for the support. Don't get him started, Craig, I'll never sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna do one, guys. Good night, bud. Respect, Dan Jay. Night, it's so pleasure as always. Brilliant, Connor, Craig. Respect, mate. Thank you. So yeah, I'm gonna go. Big day tomorrow. I will be in the office again for tomorrow from half past five. Pete Gren, top one live. Really enjoyed it. Bring on the Capri now. Oh, top man there. Respect, mate. And Craig, fair on you. Respect, lads. So that one you. <laughs> Please say to hi to Jack me off. Joe, mama. What an ass. <laughs> What a fucking asshole! Absolutely had my knife there. Joe Mama, hi. <laughs> Please say hi, check off. I'm gonna get Matty with that tomorrow. I'm gonna say, Matty, speaking to a kid yesterday. I'm saying, what's now going? He's called Jack, Jack, or Jack me off. Like, Jack me off, like, what a day. <laughs> Night, guys. Top man. Ha ha, troll, I uh, had my life for the guy. Hear that, mate? I'm always up for the banner, always up for the banner. But that's it, guys, I'm gonna go. It's uh... DM John Insta, bro, clears what you're doing. J Turner, respect, mate. Respect, lad, boom. So, yeah, that's it, guys. I generally am going now. It's just a bit to creep up, but I generally am going. So, have a cracking night, guys. Uh, thanks for the interacting, it was good. I will speak to you tomorrow and like i said i'll say it again brand every thing flush toilet tomorrow like george's nightmares <laughs> see you soon lads bye